Hey guys, Wes here. So I'm back this week with a really, really exciting video. It's gonna be an update um, on this tank and another tank. Um, keyword, another. I didn't actually say beta tank. Um, so with this tank, everything's been going great. Everything's the same, except for this. I got a large marina hang on back breeder box to put my green killing machine inside of. I thought that was an interesting idea because um, after a while, after about a week, the water gets a little bit tinted green. So I wanted to help keep it clear by doing that. You can see the intake tube right there. Um, I'm getting a sponge for that in the mail in a few days. And I'm also in the process of finding my extra air pump uh, because I ordered um, this Aquatop air pump, not knowing that 100 was their largest model. Um, it goes all the way down to like AP20. Um, so this is way too powerful, so I'm gonna return this and get another air pump. Um, but the background, background noise that you might be hearing is actually an air-driven um, sponge filter from this tank. So this is my 20 gallon high. I just got back from the pet store. I got this beautiful ranchu. He's floating right now, just to adjust temperature. I decided to get another goldfish. Um, I'm not really sure what sparked my interest, to be honest, I can't remember, but um, one day I was just like, I kinda wanna set up my 20 gallon again. Um, oh, actually I remember I was at the pet store and I saw the ranchus. So I was like, ooh, maybe I should get one of those. So I'm gonna put it in this 20 gallon, um, 20 gallon high right here. Um, I have some Seachem Stability that I've been dosing the past few days and adding in some, some fish food for some ammonia. And I'm also going to be transferring a bag of ceramic media from my 29 gallon in here to help um, cycle this. So you can see here I have a sponge filter. Um, it's an interesting brand, it's Elite. Um, I have a feeling this is a really old product because it was at my LFS, which is kind of a mom and really like a mom and pop shop, so it's probably an old model. But it's a little interesting because the sponge is horizontal instead of vertical, so that works well. That's a little bit noisy, but it's kind of like white noise sleeping to at night, so that's okay. And my Eheim filter as well, or Eheim heater. And then um, some black gravel just to give the goldfish something to sift through. It's a really fine gravel, it's almost like sand. And then, of course, I have the T5 fixture on here, which is kind of sad that I won't be able to use it really to um, grow any plants. But then I have my extra AquaClear 50 on here as well. So this is really exciting. Um, I'm gonna let this guy float for about 10, 15 more minutes, and I will be back with an update after he's in the tank. Okay guys, so it's been a few minutes since that last clip. Um, I, add, I put him in and then I um, put in the other bag of ceramic media from my 29 gallon in the filter um, to have an instant cycle. So it's been about 20 minutes, um, but he's swimming around. Um, he's still a little bit shy, obviously he just got put in the tank, but um, yeah, so I'm really excited to have him. Um, I might play around with some decoration ideas possibly probably just have something minimal just to have something in the tank so it's not bare but yeah he's in he seems like he's doing okay so far so yeah I'm really excited I will be doing updates on him so you'll probably see more videos now um, there's no promise of a video every week but I'll keep you guys informed so yeah thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time